And welcome to the Deerfield Capital Planning Committee meeting on December 4th. It is five o'clock and we are opening the meeting. Uh, the first on the agenda will be to review minutes from our previous meeting. And I'd like to thank Jack for the minutes and also for establishing the agenda for tonight. So if you'd bear with us for a minute so we can review these and then we'll move along. Um, when you're ready, I make a motion to approve these minutes and, and I also thank Jack tremendously for doing this. I really appreciate it. Second, second the motion, second the thank you. Okay. Any discussion, any comments or questions? Nope. Then I think we're all set. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? So it looks like a 5 0 zero vote. Thank you, Jack, once again. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks, Jack. Uh, this evening what we have is is we just have a package put in front of us. Diana, thank you very much. Uh, from the department heads for the capital request for FY21. And so we will be doing a uh, review of those, but we'll also be discussing uh, how we want to proceed this year as far as that package. And with the, with the bylaw language in that, we as a committee, we have deadlines that we need to meet. And we have been doing some behind the scenes work uh, with Diana as far as meeting with department heads, double checking to make sure that requests are in uh, the best that we possibly can. With the bylaw language, it does leave uh, us in a position where if we need to address emergency issues that come up, we will be allowed to do that. But we also have a deadline ourselves as a committee to have a capital improvement plan pretty much in place by the middle of February. So uh, in the Last year, how we proceeded was we reviewed all requests first, went through all of them, and then voted them uh, one evening. I don't know the way it's set up and with some of the things, and this is open for discussion with all the members as far as procedure this year. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to do that time-wise we may need to, and I'm just thinking out loud and I'm willing to listen to all, all in any suggestions. Just from a quick review of what we have with these packages, I think there's gonna be some questions and we're going to need to interview some of the department heads. So with that being said, for a time uh, element here, we may be wise to do our interviews in once we have all the information on a particular request voted at that time. And I'm going to leave that up to you. I know it's, I know it's different than the way we did it last year. Uh, last year, I know we were concerned with budget and what we had available for money. I don't think that's really uh, changed that much. I believe Diana and Carolyn, I believe there's going to be a joint meeting scheduled between the Capital Improvement Plan Committee, the Finance Committee, and the Select Board to yes. discuss in a couple of weeks finances and where we're we heading were as far Christmas, as the budget. The, uh, it's already actually been posted. It's December 18th, uh, two weeks from tonight at 5 o'clock. We're hoping that it's going to be approved we're hoping that um, the CIPC, the Finance Committee, and will join the Select Board in 
basically just kicking off the budget process and um, talking about any collective issues okay. that we set out. All right. So with that being said, that's uh, you know another week of us meeting with uh, you know the two other boards or committees and discussing financially where the town's heading. So, uh, and then you have the holidays involved in that. So as far as this committee, it's not giving us a lot of time to get people in because we have to try to match schedules. So uh, I don't know if, if you want to try to proceed that way or if you prefer to try to stay with what we did last year. I'm wide open. I'm just trying to do this as efficiently as possible because we know uh, we know we have to update our five-year plan already because of some of the uh, annual town meeting uh, articles that got voted so we have to address those to update our five-year plan besides what we do this year so our five-year plan is going to take a little more time this year also um, so are you saying we would vote the night that we talk to the department heads? Can well, can we vote on those particular? Yep. You guys might want to flip the signs down for people that are watching on time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, John. No, we're not them. <laughs> uh, well, my, that was kind of my thought process. Okay. If people felt comfortable with it, if they felt that they needed additional information or or wanted another week to think about it, we could also discuss that. But last year we kind of went through everybody, didn't vote anything, and then voted all the projects one one evening. Uh, I, I think that worked pretty well myself. Yeah, I thought it. I thought it did too. That's that's what I thought too. But I'm just. I just then we did everything at once, and then the, I don't know. From my perspective, the minutes reflected everything that we voted, like on one. On right. One sheet um, of paper, yeah, right. It was one date. You know? Okay. Yeah, it did seem pretty efficient that way. I, I yeah. thought so too, but my and concern was just the, the time, time element involved. Right. And so. I felt like we weren't under the gun with, you know, with a lot of people here and the department heads, and that sometimes the meetings go on. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. It seemed like it was. I don't know. It's. I don't know whose idea it was, but it seemed like a good one to me that. Well, that, I think we decided that as a committee. Let's put it that way. I'm I'm more than willing to stay with that format if if people feel comfortable with that. I'm with me. Everybody good with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then why don't we why don't we do that then? All right. So very quickly, can we just take a minute and I kind of back at one second now? Yep. That really, if we say no. It doesn't give the department heads a chance to rebut with us. I, mean, I don't know, maybe they shouldn't have that opportunity, but just a thought. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's something, that's something that I think we could discuss. Diana, do you have a Can comment? Can I just speak to, the, to sort of how you, you know, what, what goes on the plan and, you know, I think what maybe what John's alluding to. And, and Jeff and I have talked a little bit about the plan format and, um, you know, the way things appear. But if it seems like some of those things should go on the plan, like the department heads have presented their needs and they're saying that, you know, if we have like a fleet schedule or a replacement schedule, um, we'd like that to be considered in the long-term planning. But I think what you, on, in each given budget year, when you're looking at 21, there's only going to be so much money available to be Correct. spent. So you have this whole big collective plan that you've looked at holistically over several years and you've kind of known what you funded in previous years, what you're expecting to come forward. But in that given year, that's where I think you have to look holistically and say, you know, what is important to do this year? And if we can't do everything, you know, what can we maybe push off till the next year? And mm -hmm. then have discussion with the, with the department heads about that or the powers that be. But it does seem like all of the items that are being requested ideally should appear on the plan somewhere because the department heads that are managing the departments are basically saying these are the needs 
you know, of the department, unless you have a discussion and they determine that maybe they don't, you know, they want to withdraw that, but, um, you know, that's what I would, but I think in terms of funding, and I like the idea you're going to wait till the end, because I think for the same reason, you, if you can't do everything, you might have to, you know, mm -hmm. call through priority. for right. 21 and say, you know, well, is there anything we, we might right. need to move or? That's what we did, that's what we did last year, and that's right. the reason why we did it that way last yeah. year. So and that, that sounds wonderful. Once we have our meeting here in a couple of weeks with the other, uh, you know, with the board and the other committee, the finance committee, we may find that we're in the same situation again. Exactly. So, and that's why I say I feel, I feel very comfortable using the format that we used last year. And I, and I like the idea because it's consistent. My only concern is the, the time element involved here because now we have you know, some new deadlines and we're gonna have to, as a committee, we're gonna have to hustle and sometimes trying to get people in here to interview and discuss the request. You know, we're, we're trying to coordinate with a committee plus, plus a department head can be a little tricky too. So, Absolutely. but we'll do we'll do the best we can, and mm -hmm. we'll stay with the format that we used last year. People seem to think that it worked well. I also did. So that's that's the direction we'll head. In terms of next week or the week uh, of the 18th, the meeting, um, the library folks, um, the library director and the trust, maybe the uh, chair of the trustees want to come in and talk to the collective group about um, the strategic plan they just completed for the library, but also their facility, um, you know, their program that they're planning for uh, going forward for the the building to give you an update on that. Mm -hmm. So I think what we may find on the 18th is some of the department heads want to come in and talk collectively to the Finance Committee Select Board and to CIPC. So you might have the opportunity to get some, you know, things addressed at that time as well. So. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Diana. Hi, Rachel. Thank you. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. up a little bit on the package here. This is the just information that was handed out at last meeting. Excellent. In this you. meeting we'll catch up on that. All right, good, so, thanks. So okay, so I would I, right now I would suggest let's take a couple of minutes and just take a quick look at these requests as we go through and see who we feel we need to contact so we could bring them in. Up on top here, we have uh, the mobile data terminals from uh, John Pachur, Chief John Pachur for the police department. And obviously I, I believe we would probably, there's also a second request from him dealing with data collection and storage. I'm, I'm under the impression that we probably want to call him in and discuss these so we get a better yeah. idea. Because there's, uh, from a quick look, there's a few uh, servers that might be involved too, so we can. Yeah, just some brief explanations. Right. Helpful. And then Kevin, of course. We'll need to come in. From what I can see, we may want to. Okay, so the chief. Kevin has a request for uh, pickup truck replacement. Mm-hmm and also for a mini excavator. And he provided us with two, two request forms for uh, two different mini excavators. So he's asking, it's a request for two of them? I think he's probably requesting one, but I think he may be trying to give us an option, so we'll need to discuss that with him. That's a question. 
You're right. Yeah, that's uh, that's a big question right right from the start. So. Preferred option and an alternate option. Right. So yeah. that so it's not for two, obviously. Yeah, no, it, the I was pretty sure it was, it was either or. Oh yeah, right. One's going to be a little more expensive than the other one, which obviously will bring up a lot of questions, I'm sure. And for the school, I think Ken um, would probably relay the information. For the school? Correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ken, Ken can provide us with that to uh, just so people are aware. When you take a look at that uh, on the request, the flooring upgrades, they they were on the uh, last year's request mm -hmm. also. Right. So this is a continuation of what they've been doing and uh, that we approved. Right, that mm -hmm. we we mm -hmm. approved on an annual basis. We ha we told them we had to review it each and every year to make sure we had enough money. But they're just following through on their long term plan here as far as the flooring goes. So that's pretty cut and dry. We may have, and I'm sure Ken can answer this as far as questions about the uh, courtyard and the entryway as far as renovations there and that looks like uh involves some some excavation work maybe some landscaping hopefully we'll be able to we will have an answer on the mvp program i think um the first week of january so that will determine whether how, what the expense is right as part far as of, cost yeah, wise and part of the Right, where the money will be coming yeah. from. Yeah, yeah, because we'd be hopefully getting a little bit of cash for that. Yeah. And then we will need to uh, discuss also the, the elementary school is requesting a small uh, building generator for, for the school. And I guess... I guess we'll need to ask questions about that with the town having the town generator here for the office that we just approved last year. So, uh, which, it, build, which buildings have generators now? Um, the Frontier. Skems building the, and this building. And Frontier. Right. Frontier is your regional shelter. And Frontier, right, Frontier Regional is, is supposedly the sheltered, shelter building that people would go to if need be. So I guess it'll come down to, is there really a need? And we'll have to discuss that. So if- So why is it 30, it's like 35,000 more than the town hall generator? Right, well that's, that's why I say we'll, there's some questions that we'll have to, we'll have to ask, obviously, and compare it to our our five-year plan from before and then once again a continuation with uh, restrooms over there at the Deerfield Elementary School uh, we know there's a need there so some of these a few of these should be fairly I think fairly cut and dry if uh, Ken can't provide those answer we we can get another um, person in here. Then we have a uh, town common improvement project. And this is different from the uh, streetscapes design. And they're looking, looking for money to my, I think my understanding, and why I say I only briefly. This is for the kind of yeah. viewed these, so mm -hmm. I don't have all the information, but we will have to address this and look into it. I think it's an idea with the committee, the ad hoc committee. They're looking to try to spruce up the town common, besides the streetscape design that they're thinking about with sidewalks and crosswalks and so on and so forth. 
This would be this, in, in, in right. addition to This that would be the request. actual stuff in the common versus right. the stuff that's on the streets. Right. So, and uh, Diana and Trevor, I'm sure, can uh, address that. I believe both of you are working with that ad hoc committee. Mm -hmm. Correct. So, and when the time comes, we can, we can have them speak to that for us. What's the difference between that question? I mean, we don't have to answer it now, but it was on the five-year plan last year for 40000 it was called Town Common Slash Complete Streets Program. That's, in fact, we approved it. Yep. Right. That's been approved that was time. for the streetscape, the streetscape itself. This is different. That was for design. To, right. That was for design. Design. Okay. design. No, it's, yeah. it's two different things. So right. There's two different items. Correct. Diana, if you'd like I to just come to up and give a brief. I confused from the outset. Right. <laughs> so, because last year it did get confused, and I think that's why right. the common committee is kind of asking again. So, right. um, Last year when we talked about the common, we determined that the area around the common also needed to be addressed for um, crosswalks and, and street, um, complete streets work. And so um, in, it felt uh, sort of uh, too soon to work on the common because of that. So this year we have the prioritization plan nearly done for the complete streets work and we've already, we have a draft of that. So we've already sort of seen what the priority projects are. Um, the, the Public Works uh, superintendent and myself have prioritized um, a complete streets project that we'd like to apply for in, in the spring funding schedule if we can get the plan submitted within the next month or so. And so that 40000 that we currently have funded is to design that piece, which is the, the complete streets project, and that area would be on the side facing the common, on the Cheslick side, and in front of the um, Leary lot, because we also have an, an application in here to talk about uh, working future on, you know, future mm -hmm. downtown in the Leary lot. So, um, so the forty thousand that's being requested now is for design and actual construction, because it's just a, a landscaping and some. Maybe we have to make sure the underground stuff, but basically readjusting the common walkways and uh, moving the benches around. So that's just solely to work on the common. But the 40,000 we do have funded, we are hoping to still um, design the street, uh, the complete streets work for the construction right. grant next year. So basically they're trying to treat this as two separate entities is what they're, what well, they're trying yeah, to do. The money that was appropriated last year was used for the streetscape design. Right. The money that they're requesting for this year, the 40000 is for just the common itself. Nothing to do per se Correct. with uh, the property off from the common. But not just design work, right? Like Correct. Construction in. Exactly. Design. We expect right. the 40000 We hope to we match hope. up those, you know, the cross rock walks yeah, with right. the pathways. Yeah. Right. And, and to right. do, you know, actual physical stuff right. in the common. We had a landscape company come out and look at it, and um, they gave us basically sort of an estimate for moving the pavers and moving some of the benches. Um, but they advised that we wait until we determine the crosswalk, you know, the, the permanent crosswalk arrangement. Yeah. So now that we're closer to doing that, we'd like to try to do this work right. next year. Right. Well, obviously, there'll be questions mm -hmm. of, of are we sure that the streetscape design is going to actually come true. So if you do the work on the common in the spring or whatever the case may be, that it will match up with that streetscape design and we don't have to go back and do, all of a sudden we do work on the common and find out the streetscape design has to change, then that changes right. what happened on the common. Right, so we just, we have to be very careful as far as the designs matching up, even though we're Tre Even though we're well, the, kind of treating Tre them as Trevor and I went down to um, DOT a few weeks ago and um, straightened out um, or got clarification on ownership because right. that was one of the problems. And, mm -hmm. and we are required to be accessible, and we're not accessible on right. our sidewalks. I mean, it, they're right. curbs. I mean, there's no place right. for... Yeah. Well, I just know, want to make sure yeah. that, that, that the two items are coordinated even though yep. 
the ad hoc committee wants to treat it separately. I understand what they're trying to do, but I just want to make sure that money is well spent if if that's the case. If it's you know if, mm -hmm. it's cho if the committee chooses to recommend it and the town you know approves it, then right. I just want to make sure that the the two plans are going to align. Oh, so yes. we don't have yes. to go back. Yeah, that's and say the, whoops. Yeah. Right. I the know, timing right. of the design and trying to get it done this year is exactly for that purpose, so that if we did this construction in 21, we would already have the design you know, for the street, yeah. so we okay. could understand and the connections. Yeah, that, we'll be able to get into more depth when, when we discuss that particular request. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. And then we have a request from the select board as far as the senior center and church reuse and talking about a uh, possibility of feasibility study. Uh, once again, I think that's up for discussion. We may want to hold on that a little bit though. Uh, and I don't mean to delay, but this is a little, one of my concerns. They're doing an assessment on these buildings and I'd like to get the information from that assessment from from the building committee that's worked you know real hard on that and put a lot of time and energy into it uh, before you know I'd like to get the assessment before we start talking about spending money on a feasibility study because that assessment may come back and say it's not feasible. Right. <coughs> that building shouldn't even be standing, you know. If that's the case, we don't want to be spending or recommending to spend 50000 50, on a building that some somebody's already done an assessment on and said it doesn't mm -hmm. warrant it. Yeah. So I just want to be a little careful of that. So and and we'll, not, we'll, Jeff, I just want to be clear, and yeah. so maybe I need to clarify the paperwork, but the, the idea is exactly what you're saying, is that we're doing a building assessment this year, and, mm. and the idea is next year, what we hope to be positioned for is to do the, the next phase of whatever right. kind what, of feasibility study we would need to do. So mm -hmm. it isn't to look at a particular building and say, we're gonna do this, this particular thing. It's to get some support in determining what is feasible among the locations that you have, among the buildings that you own, and then at that point you will know what the conditions of those buildings are because you've completed the assessment. Right. So the idea is it's to determine right. what's feasible to get a project to sort of right. the next level of development. Because right. if so we the don't, study would take into account the building condition no. Yeah, exactly. No, so, okay. right. So basically to have some, you know, we, most okay. of the time mm -hmm. when you develop a building project, even for school buildings or any projects, you do some type of feasibility in the, in the mm -hmm. outset. And that can even be up to about, you know, some preliminary design, depending on how you, how you do your mm -hmm. scope. But, but in this case, I think there would be a lot of, of uh, work done in determining, you know, a good site and then, you know, like I said, what the, what's available and what has been, what the conditions of the buildings have been assessed at. And then a consultant might say, this is option one, this is option two, this is option three. And then you have some type of public, you know, right. discussion or discourse about those options. And then you can start to talk about what a future project or might be of what you might want to combine together <clears throat> or not and where if you want to build something new if you want to reuse mm -hmm. so i'm just saying feasibility in that general right sense. in in general you're not saying a feasibility study on one specific building right you're i said senior center saying, church because those are sort of the two buildings that we know are available and that we're assessing and right. that we want to reuse and and we know that this this building and our municipal purpose of this building is part of we what we want to incorporate in that building reuse mm -hmm. as well possibly right. so that's right. that's how i tried to frame it if the assessment's done by the end of 2020, then they would be ready to move ahead with a feasibility study. So right. they would have to, if we don't approve it, they'd have to wait a whole nother year to do the feasibility study barring a, a right. special meeting. Right, that's why I say this is gonna need to be. Uh, I believe 
uh, the assessments study should be back is it beginning of February yes yeah we just have finished we just got the we had to uh, get a new proposal back so we'll do a contract and then after the notice to proceed it's about six weeks so okay. probably about six to eight weeks from now we should have yeah. it back John if we agree the uh, feasibility study say we approved it mm -hmm. we don't know when can we put a condition on it that we approve the spending subject to the completion of the um, assessments? The assessment. I think that's a worthy discussion that okay. we have. And remember, that's why I say. I, I think that's very reasonable. Right. I mean, that's the kind of thing that. Right. You know what we should be doing. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why I say we we are dealing with a little bit of a uh, timeline here, and that was one of my concerns when I spoke earlier. Of, I don't think any of us on this committee wants to get into the situation where we let where we were last year, where we were trying to deal with items at the last minute, and then it came crunch time because you have to do a public hearing for the five year plan. And those were things that were out of our control last year. And I, I believe that the entire committee would like to avoid that this year. It would make things uh, run a whole lot smoother. So the more we can get done, the sooner, the better. But obviously we are gonna have a couple of these that are gonna come up and it is gonna be, you know, basically, uh, beginning of February. So we're going to have to be ready to move as quickly as we can. I think the I way like your idea, John, though. That's a very yeah. good idea. But, but also we, we could uh, um, update the plan before town meeting, you know, if, yeah. we, if we wanted to wait for further information. Well, we just want to make sure, remember, yeah. we got bylaws, we've got to uh, stay I know, within. That's why I meant so for the public meetings, you know, because that's what got us in meeting. trouble last we could year. We meet the public meeting or public schedule hearing. requirement, right. but then update it prior to the town meeting if we have further information coming in right. on well, something like this. Right. I mean, well, I'm, not, I'm not talking about regular right. stuff. Well, that's what got us in trouble last year was because oh, no. the time element for this committee to be as if, if, if we turn around and try to update that five-year plan after we've had the public hearing, then, then technically we've changed that five-year plan. We need to have another public hearing. So, and, the, and we didn't have time to do that last year because of some of the things that came up at the last minute. Uh, that were basically out of everybody's control, unfortunately. So, okay, but John, that's a that's a good idea. I, it's uh, and it's definitely a request that's going to open up some interesting discussions. So, thank you, Diane. I appreciate your help sure. there. I, I figured I'd stay seated because I think all my requests are going to open up some interesting yeah. discussions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously, we have a culvert replacement project here that. Uh, and I, what I, I just wanted to explain this a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. You you had as a committee we had talked about identifying um, the culvert and uh, stream crossings that potentially we have to replace. Right. And correct. We have 119 identified, and how we got that done is um, my creating resilient communities group. Um, the Department of uh, Transportation (DOT) sits at the comes to the meetings, and they were doing their um, own covert review um, in on Route 116 and Route 2. And so, what I asked, and then was supported by the other communities in my in, on the committee um, was that they expand the work, uh, scope of work to include the crossings um, related to Irene that were damaged in Irene. Mm -hmm. So that's how we got um, the assessment of the 119 uh, basically on the north end of town. And so um, what I did is I reached out to Ty and Bond because it's, I mean, we can, we can identify the I mean, we can say how many culverts we have, but we don't really 
have the ability to say what conditions they are. They need to be engineered. Like the Kelleher Drive one just showed up when mm. we were having a class here, and Kevin went over as a demonstration, and that's how we found out about it. But um, so anyway, um, Ty and Bon is agreeing to put together a grant procedure, and that is going to be on, um, I believe, in July, end of July, and, and it's for infrastructure. And so it will be about fifty to sixty thousand dollars, and um, it, we I think there's a ten percent or twenty percent match to that, but um, we might be able to um, do that with the MVP program. Right. So um, this is just tentative because w whatever we do replace, we're going to try to do under the MVP program, mm -hmm. which would be we only would end up paying twenty five percent, but. The grant itself um, is is going to be done, and then we'll be able to identify how many stream crossings we have, how many culverts, and and how to prioritize them. And and they and as part of the grant too, they will look at the ones that have already been done, mm -hmm. and try to prioritize those in with um, the rest of the time. Right, with the rest of them. Right. So and so obviously is, any any additional help. We can get with right. grant money. Well, what I'm hoping, what I'm hoping is the reason why this hasn't popped up before is because if I've had a federal program that I participated in, I was able to find a state match, or if I had a state match or state program, then I was able to find a federal program. Mm -hmm. But what has happened in the last three years? There's just no money on the federal level at all, and so. One of the incentives of doing this, identifying all our culverts and all that kind of stuff and getting in position on all this MVP stuff is um, that there will be an infrastructure program because everybody is, mm -hmm. there is a huge pent up sure. need across the whole country. Mm -hmm. So we want to have our projects shovel ready, ready to go. Mm -hmm. Because if you remember before when they had that recession in 2008, we actually didn't have any shovel-ready projects, and by the time we were ready, the money was already used up. So the, what we're trying to do is we know there will be an infrastructure um, program of some sort, and we want to participate in it. So mm -hmm. between the grant and prioritizing it and having all this information, I, I know it looks really scary. It is actually really scary. This is a huge underestimate, I'm sure. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the million yeah. is a is an underestimate. Right. But sure. But it's. I, a, I, right. I don't want you all to freak out because I, you know, I have been hustling to cover this, mm -hmm. and I will continue yeah. to cover this. Yeah. And the other thing that we do, is if if something is blown out, we do it under an emergency right. replacement if we are capable as a right. town. Well, you know, obviously the culvert replacement should be should be reflected in the five year plan. Right. One way or another. I mean, we can't avoid that, you know. So. Yeah, but I just didn't want you to freak out. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. We. I think. Okay. I think we all get you, it. You, as far you as asked that. me to come. Yeah. Come forward with this. Right. Yes. So. Yeah. No. And I think. Normally, I think it's. Yeah. I think it's needed. I mean, okay. we can't. We can't. Right. You know, tuck our heads in the sand. These what are. Moves? These are things that are. They're going to happen, and, and well, we, I know, but we have been handling them, and right. at, not at taxpayer expense. Right. And I don't want people to think that all of a sudden this has just come out of the blue. Right. And but I, so I intend to pursue grants. Right. For send, you know, as to whatever continue options, on with what you've yes, been doing. Yes. Yes. As it's far just as that the reason why this has emerged is because there really hasn't been any federal dollars. Mm-hmm. And that who's doing the work? Who's doing the work? We, we subcontracted out for larger ones. But in an emergency situation, like in a storm, <coughs> is we're reimbursed by FEMA for, like, Kevin doing the smaller ones. But we're still reimbursed by FEMA if it's a declared event. And then I work through Natural Resource and Conservation Service if it's a non-declared event. Right. And we've been able to do that for years. But so we've done the bigger ones we've sub subcontracted out to Oh yes. Um well we they go out to bid. It's right. different right. it's different. I mean like the Kelleher Drive is going out to bid right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um and we're hoping to get the implementation find out in January that we'll, we got the design work done. We got the money for the design work and all the permitting. So we're hoping that we'll get funded for the implementation. And it 
you know, it's only like 400,000, which is cheap. I, I thought, you know, based on my experience, I thought it was going to be a lot more money. But Okay. We'll, well, obviously, when we hit that, we'll have further discussion yeah. on this. And, yeah. and yes, just to let the public know out there that there has been grant mm -hmm. money in the past and been covering and, the majority and, and of costs. And I will try and to keep working on Hopefully, we'll be able yeah. to continue to do that. So, so. And then we have another request for uh, recreation facilities as far as acquisition and development of, and this is between the select board and the rec committee, as mm -hmm. far as facilities in Deerfield to include soccer fields, basketball courts, walking paths, play, playgrounds, you know, passive recreation. So. Uh, Obviously, it'd be design and construction. All right. the, and once again, Diana, do you want to do a quick? Well, I just want to mention that. Um, so, it just this is again a sort of um, an idea to introduce the fact that we have been having discussion about acquiring and developing, you know, ball fields or recreation areas. So, um, there is a grant that comes out annually from the um, from EOEA. Um, that you can get up to about a half a million dollars for acquisition, for, for um, design and construction of these kinds of facilities. Um, and I think every year the town, you know, should apply for that money if you're interested in developing them. So um, as sort of the impetus for that, I'd like to get some money or, you know, get, an, get something on the capital plan to... Um, you know, just just kind of put it out there that we are we are doing that, and also we've been, um, you know, we'd like to also talk to CPA perhaps about yeah. some of these things as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but having a little money in the capital plan to be able to leverage some of this grant money and CPA money would be ideal. Okay, thanks for the overview. Obviously, there'll be a lot of questions. I'm sure you know by by the looks of it, and you know on on several of these requests. Uh, we'll definitely need to confer with people and uh, see what we can do where, where it leads us. Is it too soon to ask the more detail on what the 1.1 million will be spent on? I mean, how much is basketball courts, how much is soccer fields, et cetera? Where did, how did you come up with the 1.1 million, how'd you? It's just an estimate, John. It's not a, it's a hard, not a hard number. It's based on just the preliminary information about the acquisition costs and some preliminary estimates we've been doing on the development so of some of the fields. Can you make those available to the so, committee? As, if, as we go along, yeah. I mean, like I said, it's pretty preliminary. I mean, I don't but want to I sit wanna, here and approve 1.1 million well, and say that's it. Right, but, but I guess the, the idea is that for mm -hmm. to get the number on the plan, it, it's going to have to be an estimate. When I give, if I give you a number for 21 to fund, you know, then I obviously you want, you need something a little right, more solid. Right, very specific, right. But, yeah. but I, I guess in part of these, you know, Jeff and I have been having some discussion because, you know, you, you've talked last year about um, when, we, when we come after and we determine that we're doing these projects, these projects come up and all of a sudden we're going and we're asking for, you know, money to do these projects, they're not on the plan. So I, I'm just, I'm, the 1.1 million is just a, an estimate so that it can get a spot, you know, on the plan mm -hmm. with a total cost. And then in each year, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I right. would give you more information. But you Thank are you. requesting 100,000 this year. If, when I, yes, you're correct. And for FY21, um, I, I am, and I would give you more detail on that for sure, okay. yes. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of questions. I mean, with, with most of these requests, there's going to be a lot of questions. Just with the, really the rec stuff, it's all of a sudden, well, how come we, don't we have ball fields already? You know, don't we have basketball courts? You know, we have tennis courts, so on yeah. and so forth. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm just playing devil's advocate here. So there's going to be a lot of questions. Why do we need additional ball fields? You know, we have usually here, you know, uh, Hurley sure. Park and then Deerfield Academy and so on and so forth. So the question, those are the type of questions. And then where are we going to locate them? You know, and then the walking, the walking it's path and so on and so forth. Yeah. You know, those are questions that I think this committee will probably want to have a, a clear picture of 
as far as being able to actually address it and then recommend it. I understand what you're saying as far as trying to get it on the five-year plan and then that 100000 or whatever it is for 21, yes. you'd be able to pr provide some Correct. specific requests. Yes, if we have a that. project for 21 that right. we have, that we have deter, you know, ascertained, exactly. I will give you the specifics for 21's budget. Right. But we have, in general, determined that we would like to explore the acquisition mm. of ball fields and development of ball fields of right. these Is it kinds. ball fields specifically? Doesn't the survey it's, kind of come through with some trail? Like, with yes, some that's trail. part. Part of, I think the Recreation Committee is interested in, um, you know, there's some, there's the constituent um, desire for some, some soccer fields and the need for soccer fields. We, we've recognized that. And the Rec Committee has also would like to consider basketball courts. I put those things down. They, they would yeah. like to have, you know, incorporated within the, the complex sort of maybe some passive recreation and some walking trails like around trails. the area and yeah, things like that. So they yeah, would, so they're looking, so again, this, and this would be a phased, you know, this could be something that's phased over multiple right. years. You know, you would come up with a, a plan and then each year you could apply for park money and if you got grants, you could use that money to continue to build out your mm. project and you know with your own you leveraging some of your own money but that's what I would recommend that we right. start to put together that kind of a plan uh, would sue want to be involved with that absolutely discussion? yes sue has been involved in the rec committee has yeah. had some mm -hmm. preliminary discussions so I expect you know Rob may mm -hmm. you know want to be there I will let them know that of the joint meeting all the department heads and the boarding committees so that if they want to come out in a couple weeks and talk to you about these things um, we can we can talk about that too. Right, that that leads us to a uh, time element here because obviously, what I have for a list is we're going to have to get a hold of uh, Chief Pachurik, Kevin, Ken. We probably can do uh, when he attends right here as far as for the school, most of the school questions, mm -hmm. and if he can't respond to them, then we can go the next step. Do we have any questions on the school? Yeah. They're, they're continuations of the, the, the couple oh, of them are generation, the generator, generator. Yeah. but the generator, the generator, the generator, and, right. okay. and the yep. other, the excavation as far as the court 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 entrance court area. area. We, we don't have a solid number on that because hopefully we'll get the MVP program. Right. Well, and, how is that right. Part of it? And if, if that mm -hmm. works, that's great. That's so, but it still would probably want to be discussed. We right. probably a few questions. So Ken and then uh, Diana and Carolyn with with the culverts and a couple of the other Diana with the streetscapes and Trevor also mm -hmm. and then Diana Sue and Rob for the rec information. That'd be great. So that's a list of people that will need to contact and try to set up meetings. If everything is done as it was supposed to be, this is all we're going to have because it was supposed to be in by December 1st, right? Right. Hopefully, hopefully this will be all that we'll have. Uh, uh, Carolyn had checked with Zach and Diana did <laughs> as far as uh, SCEMS mm -hmm. and they're all set this year so they will not have any capital requests as it stands. Uh, you know, We're setting aside money for the for the next ambulance, but not actually requesting anything. Right, right. They won't request that until whenever. So, and then they'll be requesting the total amount. So, we, and we, uh, let's we, see. Well, I just remember we had gotten the ambulance a year earlier to get rid of the international. Right. And hopefully, the this. My understanding is the first week of February. Um, our, the ambulance will come, the new one. So mm -hmm. for that we got, we voted last year. Right. And we can get rid of the international. <laughs> so and then the library there, I think they're pretty much set. I did talk with Candace uh, about a week ago in that, and because that's still up in the air as far as the grant money, you know, it could be two years down the road, it could be three years down the road. So they didn't, uh, I, but I, I think they would like to come in and just do a brief presentation. They may do it the night that all three committees are meeting. I think it's on the 18th, is it? Correct. Diana? Yes. So in the, are they planning on attending yes. that and doing yes. presentations? Yes, Candace so, is asked to be on the so agenda So that way that. they'll be talking to all three committees so they won't have to 
you know, December 18th. Do repeat. December 18th. Repeat. December 18th at five o'clock. Is that correct? Correct. And that's the, us, the finance committee, in the in the uh, select board. This is the first I've heard of the 18th. They just they just just did it. Just did it. Just posted it. So. So mark it on your calendar. I can't. I can't be. Can't make it. There can't I mean. make it. Okay. No, that's. It's understandable. That's why I say you're gonna. We're gonna run into that. That's tough for uh, me too. Hmm? It's tough for me too. Yeah. For our for our next meeting. I'm looking at this and. Uh, I don't believe the finance committee meeting, uh, finance committee is meeting next week. The, is the select board meeting? No. No. Not till December 18th again. So that, that would give us uh, basically any evening of next week. Do we want to try to meet next week? Well, I think we have to see if we can get somebody in here. If right. we get somebody in, yeah. yeah. Do you want to set John a tentative be, date? I know John will be away next week. John's John, on vacation. John Pacharek will be away. Yeah. So maybe, maybe Kevin, Kevin. Maybe Kevin. We can check. Um, check the weather first. I was just going to say, <laughs> yeah, it check really depends on the weather. <laughs> right. Should um, we, because it's already Wednesday, should we uh, should we set this maybe for Thursday evening? In that way, it'll give Jack time to post the... Mm -hmm. Agenda. I I hate to bounce around on evenings, but I'm just wondering if trying to check with people to make sure they can oh, attend. When, yeah. Twelve. Does the twelfth work for people? Yeah. I'd like to be able to try to get a, a night where we could all. The twelfth should work. Um, and we might get a little snow on Wednesday, so Wednesday probably won't work. For... Yeah. I have to. Um, I have a selectmen's association meeting at um, in the evening that evening, but I can make it. It's Sorry. right here at the Polish Club, so um, I, can, I can come. For what the, time is your meeting? There. Five thirty. Five thirty. Okay. So uh, I can meet at five, and then yeah, you know, be and here then, for the first and then half an hour. Go if need be. Yeah. All right. And I can Would, be a little. I can be a little late. So right. Okay. Would <laughs> five o'clock Thursday work for people? Mm -hmm. Looks okay. All right, and we'll try to in the future. We'll Thursday try to, the twelfth. Right? right, Thursday yes. the twelfth. We will try to uh, pick an evening that will work for everybody and try to stay consistent with that if we can. But so we've, um, we've struggled with that in the past. So, so you're going to have Kevin try to come in. Have Kevin silly. come, right? Right, I think I think if we could if we could uh, have the chief and Kevin no. come in. No, you're not going to get John. Here. Chief won't be here. No, he's, no, he's not going to be here all okay. week. So let me check. So Kevin, we could try. Ken, to Ken should be back. And hopefully, if Ken is here, then we can talk about the school. So if Ken's well, here, we could also discuss the school. Yep. Yeah. That might be plenty. That, okay. Yeah, I think that could be enough. That'd be enough, yes, definitely. So, CIPC. I have to excuse myself, sorry. Yep, nope, that's quite all right, John. Thank you very much. I know Thank I know. You. Skip's pretty close, too. Yep. So we'll do 5 o'clock. Jack, you want to set that agenda and just post it? And if, if Kevin can't make it, we just have to mm -hmm. reschedule for another day. Can the common people come? Can, yeah. can I see Trevor Well, there? if, if Kevin can, makes it and, that's good, and but Ken makes it, then we're going to have our hands right, right, right. full. Right. 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 But yeah, you know what? Trevor might, night. if if Kevin can't come, yeah, Trevor then might. Trevor could come because Trevor and I are both going to the same meeting. Right. So, yeah. we, so yeah. we just we hold can him. work something out so you yeah. have yeah. two yeah. people, two, yeah. okay. two sets of. We'll, we'll make sure that you're right. good. Ken and Trevor. So we'll list the review of the highway of the common and of the Deerfield Elementary School. And if we yeah, can't do all three or one too, can't make it, we'll just reschedule. That way it'll be on the agenda. And obviously that Thank night you, that night might run a little bit longer. And once again, we decided we, John, thank you very much. 
we decided that we were going to review all requests before we voted and we'd vote those one night mm -hmm. one evening yep. as we did last year okay all right very good uh diana are you going to try to contact them i can it? sure you don't mind? No, no, no. I, no. I, I mean, not Ken, because I think Ken's away, right? Is Ken, right, Ken's is, still away. Right, but, I'll, but Kevin I can, and, I can send him an email. Okay, yeah, and I can I can contact Kevin and Kate and see which one. I'll contact Kevin first and confirm right, that yeah. he can come. All right, and then that if sounds not, good. Okay. Um, I'll check with Kate and Trevor. Yeah. All right, and if you don't mind, schedule yeah, that for Thursday the 12th. Yep, next five Thursday. 5 o'clock. Yep, I'll check, because Kevin usually puts his stuff on the calendar anyway. I'll go double check, but okay very next good next thursday if you have to come right. you thank come, you right? thank you very much is there any other concerns questions comments from the board so do i hear a motion to adjourn i make that motion i'll second i'll third <laughs> okay uh all in favor aye, aye. aye. opposed no. we are adjourned